Today we're looking at pre-briefed mode on the Harm. This is the preferred way of using Harms against known SAM sites. Pre-brief mode allows us to launch a Harm at a specific location, at which point it will turn on its sensor and search for a single specific radar type and engage it. Before we can use pre-briefed, we need to select a waypoint to use as our target. We'll navigate to our HSI, and select waypoint, in this case waypoint 1, and then press waypoint designate to select this waypoint as our target point for our weapons. We'll select air to ground master mode and master arm on. With our stores page now open, we will select harm and then pre-briefed mode. On the pre-brief page, we can see our selected station, which can be incremented by pressing step. Bottom left is our launch mode. Aircraft mode requires us to actively pitch up to release the missile in a lofting motion, whilst harm mode can be used in level flight, which makes the missile loft instead. Top right, we've got the harm pull up mode and range queue. This will only appear when our aircraft is within range to launch our harm at our target. Below, we've got the flight time. The top number tells us how long it will take for our missile to reach the target area if we were to launch right now. The second is a countdown to impact for the last missile launched. This can be used to assess the effect of our harm and remove any uncertainty as to the success of our attack. If the radar emission on our RWR doesn't blink off shortly after the counter expires, we know the site survived the attack, and if it blinks off before the timer expires, we know the radar's turned off. Lastly, the number below this is the time difference between our last launch and the time to impact of the next. In effect, we can use this to predict the approximate separation of our next shot and the previous. On our HUD, we have our azimuth steering line, which we'll want to line up centered on the HUD before we launch. Next, we've got the indented chevrons. These indicate the harm pop-up mode launch zone. Lastly, we've got the horizontal bar that indicates our loft queue for the aircraft pop-up launch mode. Before we can launch a harm, we need to select a radar type to search for. This requires us to enter a specific code depending on the system. I've included a list of these on screen and in the description below. We're going to attack a fan song radar, so we'll press UFC, target, and input 1, 2, 6, and enter. Our target code then appears on the harm page. We're now all set to fire a missile. Let's start with harm pull up launch mode. With our harm set up, simply fly towards the hostile radar and our target waypoint. Once we're in range, we'll see harm range on the stores and HUD. I'd recommend you always launch at the shortest practical safe distance unless your mission requires otherwise. This gives the missile the best speed and energy when it reaches the target. When you're happy, simply center the azimuth steering line and align the velocity vector within the chevrons for the harm pull-up mode and press pickle. Our missile will now head on its merry way to target. If it doesn't fire, the most common mistake is that you've left it in aircraft pull-up mode the default, so double check this, followed by ensuring you set a target code. Harm pull-up mode is great if you're at high altitude and struggling for aircraft performance in the thin air or wish to maintain formation whilst launching, but it does come at a cost of missile energy and therefore maximum range in order for it to put off the lofting manoeuvre itself. Next up is aircraft pull-up mode. Once again, align your aircraft with the asthma steering line and fly until you're showing within range on the HUD and Harm page. Now hit the burners and bank some airspeed. Hold the pickle button and pull up smoothly following the steering line until you pass the horizontal bar with the velocity vector, at which point your missile will release automatically. Aircraft pull up mode is great for low level attacks in thicker air where lofting maneuvers can be costly in energy for the missile itself. So with all that set, why use pre-briefed mode? Well, as mentioned before, the countdown to impact is very useful for assessing your own success, as well as timing other aircraft's follow up attacks. PB mode also provides us with the in-range cues unlike other modes, so you can be certain our missile has the energy to reach its target, unlike TOO or SP, where you'll just have to guess. It also ensures we can get the maximum range out of our missile, being able to make a lofting flight profile to extend its range beyond that of the direct path taken by self-protect or target opportunity modes. Unfortunately, we do need to use a waypoint either set up in the mission editor or created in flight in order to use this mode. Because we're launching at a waypoint, we don't require the radar to actually be emitting when we launch, nor do we need to detect it ourselves. This means if a radar is off, awaiting a target, you can fire at the location and then shortly before impact, 
have another aircraft fly into range at bait to encourage them to switch on their radars and consequently you'll give the site less time to react and spot your incoming missile. So what happens to our missile if they don't turn their radars on? Well, unfortunately, their own navigation is not accurate enough to hit the waypoint location. Instead, it will hit an approximate area of the site, which, whilst unlikely to cause any real damage, will most certainly spook the site operators, which could still achieve the effect of suppressing that SAM site, although this aspect isn't simulated in DCS at the moment without tools like Skynet Integrated Air Defense scripts running on the mission. Lastly, with the initial implementation of pre-briefed mode, I've noticed the in-range queue is not functioning correctly. I fully expect this to be fixed soon, but in the meantime, the range queue will appear before you're able to launch in most cases. However, the launch will still be inhibited until you are within range, so keep closing if the missile won't launch. As a rough guide, use these numbers as to when you're in range to fire and disregard the in-range queue for the moment. It's also not possible to set individual targets for each station or set specific pre-planned mission targets within the harm page itself, which I believe will probably be added at a later date. So that's harms in pre-briefed mode, I hope you enjoyed, and take care.